Hello. <clears throat> right. Well, we've done the uh, the things that I like about this uh, TV. Now let's do the things that I don't like very much. Well, firstly is the uh, lack of support through the arc. Um, you get sound through it. Um, it turns your device on and there's not really any other control at all for that. Um, Some controls for volume on the Arc would be really good, but <clears throat> I'd rather have the volume controls controlled through the actual IR on the remote control. That would be a lovely, massive game changer for this uh, lovely sky glass. <clears throat> um, other things I don't like, out of the box, you need to uh, set this uh, TV up for the picture settings yourself because you've got eco settings on there because all TVs these days have to ship with their uh, best eco settings that they can have. Um, and that's how they get the eco rating for the actual TV to say that it's eco this, eco that. It's just a big load of rubbish really because all you have to do is just go into your settings, change it all and have it using loads more power. <laughs> But not always, not always loads more power. Um, you just literally tune it to how your eye likes the, uh, the picture on the screen. Not everyone is the same and uh, we'd be very boring if we were. Um, other things I don't like, the connection of the Bluetooth. It's very spotty. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, I, I did have a good run of the Bluetooth working absolutely fine for me. Um, but recently it's been playing up again and it's so disappointing. Just a such a, such a simple Bluetooth connection. My, oh, how old is it? 10, 12, 12 year old um, car that I've got has Bluetooth, has absolutely no problem in connecting with my phone every time I get in the car. Um, it has never failed, it's always connected. It's not a problem. And that's a really old system Bluetooth. That'd be Bluetooth 2.0. I mean, we're on three point whatever now. But anyway, yeah, Bluetooth, what else, what else? The, uh, where they say on the ads and every bit of everything you read that the TV is uh, smarter than a smart TV, that's misleading, that's very disappointingly misleading because as soon as you've got no internet connection, um, and no connection to Sky, or if you've not got a Sky subscription, you lose all the smart options and everything at the bottom for Netflix, YouTube. So you have to plug another device in the HDMI in the back. Now that's a really pain, real pain in the ass. But if you're in the ecosystem, like I am with the Sky setup, I, it works. It works okay, but it's not the best thing because they put all their junky programs that not everyone wants to watch because <laughs> um, there's a lot of rubbish on there that I just don't watch. I mean, I mainly will watch Netflix, um, YouTube, Disney, and um, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, Amazon Prime, or Prime Video, as they call it now. Um, so, yeah, not smarter than a smart TV. The voice recognition for the actual TV is horrendous. Now, hang on, the voice recognition on the remote is absolutely spot on. Um, I've not got a problem with that at all. That That is really, really good and it works really, really well. Um, whew, what other things don't I like? There's plenty of things that I don't like. The software updates are terrible. Um, they roll them back left, right and centre. You know, they, they, they roll them out and then they realise they've got massive bugs and roll them back again. I mean, I had the issue with um, changing from Bluetooth. If you had Bluetooth headset on, connected to the TV and you ch turned it to TV and Bluetooth so you could listen to both at the same time. Bluetooth headset or soundbar would turn up to the maximum volume which on my soundbar is really 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 loud um, and on my headset set which is Bose um, it's very very loud as well and I should imagine it's bad for your hearing and it's very bad for your uh, whatever device you were using because you've literally then stuck it straight up to maximum volume um, and probably destroyed a little bit of the voice coils in there. Um, another bad thing, the weight of it, it's heavy. 
it's a very, very, very heavy TV. And I have no re idea why. Um, I think that's probably it for the main reasons why, why it's a bad TV. Anyway, things I don't like. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.